for the first time in six years, a total solar eclipse will be visible for hundreds of millions of people across parts of the continental United States on April 8. The 115-mile-wide path of the eclipse which happens when the moon passes between the sun and the earth, blocking the face of the sun begins over the South Pacific Ocean, and then will pass over Mexico, the U.S. and Canada. In the U.S., the eclipse is set to cross from Texas to Maine, according to NASA's solar eclipse website. The last time Americans witnessed a total solar eclipse, the sky darkened as if it were night, and the year was 2017. The next opportunity to experience a total solar eclipse is the U.S. is not until 2044. If you plan to check out the eclipse, you are going to need protective eyewear. Here's what to know about safely watching the total solar eclipse without damaging your eyes. Can I look directly at the eclipse? No. Do not look directly at the sun during a solar eclipse without specialized eye protection, NASA experts say. You could permanently damage your eyes or lose vision forever. When watching the phenomenon, always observe with approved solar viewing glasses, aka eclipse glasses, or a handheld solar viewer. Eclipse glasses are not regular sunglasses. Regular sunglasses, no matter how dark, are not safe for viewing the sun, according to NASA. A total solar eclipse should be viewed with protective eyewear during totality when the sun is completely covered by the moon. How long can you look at the eclipse? You can view the total solar eclipse for a very short period of time with protective glasses. Capturing the eclipse. What to know about viewing and recording the solar eclipse with your cell phone camera. You can use a special solar protector on the front of those objects, but NASA recommends seeking advice from experts like an astronomer before using one.